It's All You Can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek and I'm here at the MGM Grand Casino in Las Vegas. And I'm looking for something to eat. And there is so much to eat here at the MGM Grand. I don't know where to begin. But I guess I'll begin right here at Starbucks. There's a Starbucks coffee. There's actually three Starbucks coffees here at the MGM Grand. And there's an Avenue Cafe. Now the Avenue Cafe is the MGM Grand's coffee shop. And the Avenue Cafe is open for breakfast and lunch. It's a very nice seating here overlooking the casino. And here's a sign for China Tang. Now China Tang is, is a little bit further down here, but it is open now. And this billboard is on the location of what used to be their Chinese restaurant. Here's Crush. I remember when this place was Knob Hill by Michael Mina. And I had the most amazing lobster pot pie here. I haven't been here since it's been transformed into Crush, but I'm sure the food is just as amazing. Look at this menu. I mean, there's actually vegan, vegetarian, dairy-free, and gluten-free items listed on the menu. Well, I'll definitely have to come back and check out all of those why not the more food the better I say hey and speaking of more food this is L'Atelier de Joël Robuchon and if you don't know about this place well let me tell you Robuchon is one of the most expensive and one of the finest restaurants in Las Vegas this is the L'Atelier which is the more affordable version of Robuchon that you can maybe get out with paying under $100 a person. No, actually, that's not even true. I think it's probably going to be uh, $100 or $200 a person even here. And this isn't even the actual Robuchon restaurant. The actual Robuchon restaurant is right next door. Right here, you can see this is actually the entrance to Robuchon. Now this is a place you're definitely gonna spend two, three, four hundred dollars per person. I mean, it's one of the most exquisite dining experiences in Las Vegas and definitely need reservations. But there's lots more to eat here at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. This place probably has more restaurants than almost any casino in Vegas, including the Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill. And I've eaten here many times. And I can assure you, this place is always good. Wolfgang Puck. I mean, I think Wolfgang Puck is just always good no matter which of his restaurants that you go to. And he has plenty of them in Las Vegas. But the Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill is probably the most affordable one. So if you've never been to a Wolfgang Puck restaurant, well, this is a great place to start. Now, there are more restaurants here at the MGM Grand. So many restaurants here. It's so, I mean, this is such a great place to eat because there's so much choice, so much variety, and of course, so many slot machines. If you like to cuddle up with a drink or two before you eat, there's also plenty of bars here. Like this one. This one's called Losers. I don't know if I'd want to drink in a bar called Losers when I'm at a casino. But maybe they're being ironic. Now this, this in this direction is actually all of MGM Grand's fine dining restaurants, starting with Morimoto. This is the sushi restaurant by Masaharu Morimoto, the Iron Chef. And right across the way here is Fiamma Italian Kitchen you're in the mood for meatballs or gnocchi <laughs> or spaghetti 
or whatever Italian food you're in the meat you're in the meat for no in the in the mood for they've got dinner and it's all Italian over here at Morimoto you can see that the the hours are dinner only that's generally the case for all of the restaurants the fine dining restaurants down this corridor but this looks like a nice place to eat. I mean, everything down here is actually a really, it's just a comfortable upscale ambience. Here's Craft Steak. This is Tom Colicchio's place for steak. This is the place you want to go at the MGM Grand for meat. Forget what I said about Fiamma. I mean, if you want meatballs, I guess you could go over there. But really, if you want meat, meat, go to Craft Steak. And if you want New Orleans cuisine, where else are you going to go except Emeralds? Emerald Lagasse, Food Network star, and lover of New Orleans food. So if you want gumbo, clam chowder, any, it's a fish house. It's Emeralds New Orleans fish house. And they actually have some of the best banana cream pie I've ever had. Hey, here's China Tang. This is the new Chinese restaurant that I mentioned earlier. This place has only been open for a few months. And look at the gorgeous decor. I think this is supposed to be something like out of China in the 20s, early 20th century perhaps. From the logo, the font, it, it, it looks pretty interesting and fun. And it's Chinese food, so I'm all in on that. Now this right here is actually the MGM Grand food court. So there is a food court hidden back here. And it's got all the usual suspects for a Las Vegas food court like Bonanos, New York Pizzeria, Johnny Rockets, Nathan's Hot Dogs, and plenty of seating for your casual dining experience. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at what they've got going on here at the MGM Grand Food Court. Johnny Rockets Burgers and Fries. Nathan's Hot Dogs. This is all American food. Pizza, burgers, hot dogs, and Chinese food here at Pan Asian. I guess that's it's that means it could be Japanese food or Thai food, but I'm pretty sure it's Chinese food. And the original chicken tender. I love myself some fried chicken and I certainly love myself some chicken tenders and that's all they've got at the original chicken tender. Well, they got fries too. Original chicken tenders, french fries. Really, that's all I need at a food court. I don't know, maybe a slice of pizza too. That's the beauty of a food court. You can get anything you want and you can get multiple things like ice cream. Here's haagen -Dazs, and there was tacos and Rita's. If you want some beer or cocktails with your food court food, you can have that too. All right, let's keep going because there is still more to eat. Here's Pub 1842. This is a Michael Mina restaurant, and I'm a huge fan of Michael Mina's food. I think he's one of the most underrated chefs, well, in the world, but certainly in Las Vegas. He's got so many places in Las Vegas, but I feel like you don't hear about them too much but this is one of them right here Michael Mina's Pub 1842 and you can get burgers and beers and all that good stuff and we're coming up on Blizz frozen yogurt always a fun treat you get your yogurt and you get your toppings and you mix and match and do whatever you want to make your ultimate yogurt dessert it's a fun treat anytime and you can come eat here 
almost any time. It opens in the morning and it stays open till like 10 o'clock. But the the last restaurant here in this corridor of fine dining is Hecho on Vegas. And that's Mexican food. And that's actually one place I've never eaten here at the MGM Grand. And I love Mexican food. Who doesn't? But I guess I there's just so many places to eat. And it takes time to eat at them all. But I'm going to make it to all of them eventually. Down here, there, there's no more places to eat. But this is actually your, your gateway to television. There's all sorts of TV channel logos down here because they do screenings of certain TV shows. You can like be a test audience member if you ever wanted to, to get your opinion known to, to Hollywood. Well, you can do it right in there. And ultimately, you'll find yourself right here, which is the entrance to the pool. The MGM Grand Pool, famous in legend and lore for half-naked young people carrying flotation devices throughout the casino. All right, let's head back because there is still more to see here at the MGM Grand. We're going to go through the casino to the, this is one of the biggest casinos in Vegas. I think it's the biggest. For a while, this was the biggest hotel in the world. And if you've ever been here at the MGM Grand, I think you know the feeling. I mean, walking from your room to the Strip can take like 20 minutes to walk. And forget about it if you have a car and you want to get to the parking garage. I mean, that's like 30 minutes from your room or from the Strip or from any restaurant. I, there's a lot of walking involved here at the MGM Grand. But it's such a beautiful casino and there's so much to do and see, places to go. I mean, I, I love this casino. This place is fun and it's got so much, well, gambling to be had. <laughs> so much gambling to be done. There's, there's never enough time to gamble all the money that I want to gamble with. And there's never enough time to eat all the food I want to eat. So let's go find out what else there is to eat here at the MGM Grand Casino in Las Vegas. If you didn't know, if you couldn't tell, you're in Las Vegas. Here's some table games. Roulette. There's a blackjack, electronic blackjack, electronic craps. Let me know if you ever played those games. What do you think of those? The odds on those games. It's really unpredictable when you're dealing with the electronic gambling. But I guess it's just as unpredictable when you're dealing with table games with a real live dealer. You take your chances. There's the wheel, the big wheel. Famous for being the worst odds of any casino game. There are a lot of slot machines here. There's a lot of winning that you can do. I imagine there's a lot of losing you can do too, which is why they have a bar called Losers. I don't know, they need to change that. And the last two places to eat here, the Tap Sports Bar. And there's Hakasan. You can get super fancy dim sum. And these stairs will take you upstairs up to the crosswalk to New York, New York, or to the Excalibur, or the Luxor, or wherever your dreams may take you. But that doesn't mean there isn't more to eat because there is another food area. It's not exactly a food court. It's sort of a, a street of dreams that you will find on your way to and fro the parking garage. It's just down these escalators. This 
is also where Brad Garrett's Comedy Club is. So if you're in the mood for a laugh, definitely check this place out. And there's plenty to eat while you're down here. There's gift shops, too. There's like a magic shop. This, this place has been down here for a long time. I mean, since MGM opened, it's and it hasn't changed that much. Here's a Fat Tuesday for frozen alcoholic drinks. These places are all over Las Vegas. Now, Pieology is a pizza place that is fairly new the last couple of years. So you can grab a slice of pizza on your way to the comedy club, or on your way from the comedy club, or just on your way to and from your car. There's a Harley Davidson shop for your motorcycle memorabilia. America, the store for your America memorabilia. So you can remember that you're an American, or if you're not an American, that you are a fan of America. And here's a, 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 a sock store if you're a fan of socks. That's closed, though. So no socks for you. Pretzels, this place always smells so good. New York pretzel. I don't know what they do, what they're pumping into the air. Can you pump butter into the air? I think that's what they're doing because it always smells great around here. And there's the comedy club, Brad Garrett's comedy club. And this is Revive Wellness Hydrating Infusions. I don't know what that means exactly. And I don't want to know. What I do want to know is what do they have to eat here at haagen -Dazs? I mean, I know it's ice cream. Yeah, it, it's actually some of the best ice cream you can get. At least I think so. But what I really want to know is where's the donut place? Because I hear there is a pretty amazing donut shop down here. It's new, it's trendy, and there's always a line. Hey, wait a minute, I see a line, and I see donuts. This is the Dapper Donut, and they've got all sorts of funky donuts like the PBJ Donut, the Bananas Foster Donuts, and of course, classic donuts, cinnamon and sugar, blueberries, I don't know if that's a classic donut, but they have it. She's making fresh topped swirled donuts. Whatever she's doing to the donut, she's doing it by hand. And I appreciate the craft involved in creating the donuts here at the Dapper Donut. I'm normally not one for trendy, you know, millennial Instagram <laughs> foods, but these donuts look good. And there's one called the turtle, so that's gotta be fun. But I can't make like a turtle and stay here all day and eat donuts because I've gotta get out of here. Luckily, I'm near the parking garage because my car is in there and I'm on the clock because there's a charge for parking here and I only get an hour free and I'd be stupid idiotic to stay here any longer. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the MGM Grand, the restaurants at the MGM Grand, the MGM Grand food court, and all the food options, including Subway, here at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. And be sure to subscribe for more, because there's always more to eat when it's all you can Vegas.